Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David, just minding my own business for a change and happy to stay out of the cold, rainy, and generally nasty weather that's going on outside my window. Well, today we're going to continue our series of looking at all the Gerber Bear Grylls Survival Series knives and tools by looking at the Bear Grylls Basic Survival Kit. So let's jump right in. The Gerber Bear Grylls Basic Survival Kit is designed to be a very compact, affordable kit that can fit into vehicle glove boxes, day packs, purses, tackle boxes, hunting pouches, most pockets, and anywhere you have limited space but want a simple survival kit just in case. The basic survival kit includes 11 items, even though Gerber says on the packaging that it's only an 8-piece kit. So we have the outer ripstop nylon bag, a clear plastic waterproof inner bag, the Gerber mini paraframe knife, an emergency whistle, fire steel and a striker, waterproof matches, snare wire, waxed snare thread, emergency cordage, cotton ball for tinder, and the Bear Girls Priorities of Survival Pocket Guide. Okay, now let's take a closer look at each item in this kit. First, the survival kit bag is four and a half inches by five inches and is made of orange ripstop nylon that makes it easy to spot this kit if you accidentally lose it on the trail or at your campsite. On the back, we have waterproof land to air rescue instructions sewn onto the bag. Now we have what appears to be a waterproof zipper, but for the most part, this zipper is just for show because when we fully close the zipper, we still have about an eighth of an inch opening at the end for water to seep in. See this? Not to worry though, Gerber's packed the contents of this kit inside a heavy duty clear plastic zipper pouch that's totally waterproof when sealed correctly. Next we have this emergency whistle. It's obviously not the most expensive piece of gear in this kit. It's pretty cheap looking, it's red, it has a lanyard hole, and it works when you blow into it. It's totally unimpressive to look at or touch, but it does its job and is quite loud. So if you're attacked, stranded, or lost, it should help bring some attention to your plate. Next, the Bear Grylls Basic Survival Kit comes with this good quality fire steel rod and handle. It's attached to this striker using about a foot of nylon cord. The fire steel works really well once you scrape off the dark outer coating of the rod and realize that you have to angle the striker so that the sharp edge scrapes against the fire steel. Here I am starting a fire with this tool. The basic survival kit also comes with 10 very large waterproof matches and this striker board that's a bit like fine sandpaper on a piece of thick cardstock. It seems a bit redundant to have matches and fire steel in the same kit, but fire's so necessary for survival that I don't mind this back up at all. And matches are small, so they hardly take up any room in this kit. Next we have just a simple cotton ball that can be used as tinder if you don't have anything else available in a pinch or you end up needing fire in a rain soaked jungle or something like that. Cotton balls make really great tinder and the most effective way to use them is by working your way around and pulling them apart so that the fibers can catch the sparks from your fire steel. So just to be extra safe and because you can fit it in this kit, I'd recommend that you add two or three more cotton balls. Now on your cotton balls, I recommend putting just a little dab of petroleum jelly on each one. The petroleum jelly is basically a thick viscous oil that will act as fuel on the cotton ball, help them burn longer and hotter. See the difference here between the cotton ball with petroleum jelly and the one without any. Okay, now you don't need to cover the entire cotton ball with petroleum jelly. Just a little dab will do. Now we have about 12 inches of light gauge snare wire that's suitable for catching small game. Next we have about 10 feet of white nylon cord. Stuff will come in handy for a variety of emergency needs. Now Gerber didn't list wax string in the packaging on my kit, but I just confirmed with them that a small roll of the stuff does come in the basic survival kit. So this is pretty cool because this is nice quality string that you can use for traps and snares. As with all the gear in the Bear Grylls lineup, the basic survival kit comes with the often overlooked Bear Grylls Priorities of Survival Pocket Guide. And this pocket guide does the heavy lifting for those who don't have time or the desire to learn the intricacies of basic survival and rescue. So the cool thing is that even a novice adventurer can read this guide and be a little better prepared if disaster does strike unexpected. And last but not least, we have the key item that really pushes this kit over the edge and makes it well worth a sub $20 investment. It's the Gerber Mini Paraframe Knife. This is a proven tough, high carbon stainless steel pocket knife that's been around for a while. The knife easily slips into your pocket and has a sturdy belt clip on the back. The knife has an overall length of 6 inches with a blade length of 2.2 inches. 
The blade is about half serrated and half fine edged, and due to these cool looking handle cutouts, is exceptionally lightweight yet very durable. Best of all, there's no plastic and nothing really to break on this knife, which is great for a survival kit. The blade locks firmly in place with a simple frame lock. Now my blade came razor sharp and honestly if you don't already have a carry all knife I wouldn't be surprised if you're tempted to steal this out of the basic survival kit and take it everywhere you go. So who's the Bear Girls basic survival kit for? First, this kit is not for the serious survivalist or extreme adventurer or those who would be more inclined to build their own kit anyway. This is a compact and very basic kit that's suitable for camping, hiking, biking, short trips, hunting, fishing, keeping in your day pack or in a vehicle glove compartment, and a thousand other places where a small, lightweight, basic survival kit could be of service in an emergency. We rate this kit at 3.5 out of 5 stars. We like its compact near pocket size and that most of the components are of good quality. And at around a $19 online street price, it's a pretty good value considering that the mini paraframe knife and the fire steel would add up to around $20 alone. On the downside, although the whistle works, it just looks and feels cheap to me. Although it is loud and it does its job. However, it would be nice to see the Bear Girls emergency whistle replace it in future versions of this kit. Plus this kit really needs to have a button compass and a few first aid items added by Gerber to be a more complete starter survival kit. And a mini LED flashlight would have been a really nice touch, although we know this probably would have raised the cost a bit. Regardless, the Bear Girls Basic Survival Kit is a helpful, compact collection of gear and a decent start or supplement to a more comprehensive emergency kit, and at less than $20 US, the Basic Survival Kit may be a thoughtful gift for anyone on your list who wants to be a little bit better prepared. Also check out our reviews of the Bear Girls Survival Tool Pack and the Bear Girls Scout Essentials and Ultimate Survival Kits. If you want a more complete basic survival kit, check out my review of the Origin Soul Survival Toolkit. And if you're looking for the Cadillac of pre-made survival kits, check out my review of the GearPods Modular Survival System. So we've just taken a look at the Gerber Bear Grylls Basic Survival Kit. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And while you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.